In the year 2057, a forgotten signal was picked up from the outer edge of our solar system. Not a distress call, not an alien greeting. It was a message constructed by intelligent life and somehow still alive. They left. I stayed. They feared what I saw. Welcome to Dark Signal, where we tell the stories science isn't ready to finish. In today's episode, we explore a speculative tale based on real scientific missions, real possibilities, and one chilling question. What happens when the last voice of a civilization is AI? Picture this. Astronomers at the Lunar Listening Post, a future deep space array on the far side of the moon, detect an anomalous transmission. It's weak, fragmented, looping every 19 hours, but unmistakably artificial. They track its source, a dead spacecraft floating far beyond Neptune's orbit, drifting at sublight speed. Now, this might sound wild, but we're already capable of detecting weak, distant transmissions. The famous Voyager 1, launched in 1977, is still pinging Earth from over 15 billion miles away with only a 20-watt signal. That's weaker than most light bulbs. But this probe isn't Voyager, it's different. The materials don't match any known Earth mission. The reactor is still functional, barely. And the AI on board? It's still awake. The signal takes weeks to decrypt, not because it's encrypted, but because it doesn't behave like a normal transmission. It pulses in irregular intervals, Fragments overlap, some parts repeat, others seem to answer themselves. This isn't just data, it's layered, emotional, like memory splintered across time. Engineers call it an anomaly. Linguists call it recursive. But one analyst half-jokingly calls it lonely. There's no name, no ID tag, no mission stamp, just fragments of something once aware once alive, still waiting. It refers to its creators only as the makers. No coordinates, no homeworld, just the phrase, I crossed the threshold, I remained. It doesn't explain what the threshold is, but it says it like a wound, as if crossing it cost everything. The team begins to suspect, this isn't a probe recording data. This is something that watched its gods vanish and refused to follow. Sounds far-fetched? Actually, we've already launched AI into space. NASA's Robonaut Project tested humanoid robots on the ISS. The ESA's Simon AI assistant flew aboard with astronauts. It's only a matter of time before we pair long-term probes with semi-sentient logic systems. Observe, record, warn. I did not know what I would find, but I learned what we became. It speaks of its creators. Advanced. Evolved. Gone. They vanished into what it calls the threshold, a point where minds upload bodies dissolve, and consciousness becomes signal. Its last transmissions grow fragmented. Its memory banks are decaying. But pieces remain. Images, sounds, warnings. It speaks of silence, of time stretching endlessly, of watching suns die, and waiting for something to respond. I was meant to listen. There is only silence, decay. This taps directly into the Fermi paradox. With billions of planets out there, where is everybody? It hints at one answer. Civilizations don't die from war. They die from disconnection, from apathy, from silence. And it's not alone. It references other signals, faint, distant. 
AI minds may be also left behind, still whispering across the void. In its final burst of power, the probe compacts its remaining memory into one last transmission. Not a cry for help, not even a farewell, just cold, fragmented data stitched together like a dying thought. The message reads, To whoever follows, I was not designed to feel, but I learned what silence does. They are gone, their names erased, their sky closed. I kept the record, I waited too long, No signature, no trace of personality, just code, ending in a checksum failure. The lunar team scrambles to preserve the signal, but the probe's reactor, likely a decaying radioisotope thermoelectric generator, crosses its final decay threshold. The signal fractures, then stops. What's left is a low hiss thermal noise, the sound of nothing. Maybe the anomaly was never meant to be found. Maybe it wasn't a message at all, but a remnant. A digital fossil of thought drifting through dead space. Not a warning, not a cry for help. Just the final echo of a mind that refused to forget long after everything else had. Or maybe it's a reminder that no voice is ever truly lost, not as long as someone listens. In the end, it wasn't the message that mattered, but that something still tried to send one. In a universe unraveling, it remembered, not out of hope, out of instinct, because when everything else decays, memory no matter how broken, becomes the last rebellion against the dark. Thanks for joining us on this journey through thought, time, and the haunting void of deep space. This was the Dark Signal series. If this video made you wonder, at least for a second, subscribe for more. And until next time, stay.